what's going on everyone welcome back to another video as you can see by this title today's agenda is a video i've been wanting to do for so many years i've never had the space i obviously have the space now i'm removing the dash out of my rsx i'm removing the dash out because well i don't have heat in it anymore i don't have ac in it anymore i have that that big heater box just behind the dashboard that essentially is doing nothing it's taking up uh, space for one because I, when I ran my fuse box tuck many years ago, I had to try to really get around it. And two, I'm still all motor, so any kind of excess weight I can get out of this car, I want out. So that heater box, that whole setup, it's got to come out. I kind of got started a little bit here and there, just a few things. I took the seats out. I, uh, I took the, the center console out. Little things like that, I already just got that out of the way so I can get you guys better camera angles and kind of just jump right into it. So I'm going to show you where I'm at now and my steps of how I'm going to take this dash out. So here's how far I got right now, right? Seats are out. I took out the, uh, the vent there just because I have a gauge there. I took this A-pillar out because I had my gauge there as well. I am going to take that A-pillar out as well, so I'll get to that soon. Uh, glove box is out just because my fuse box was in there so I wanted all those wires exposed and the center console so that's pretty much it oh and a few little panels under here that was just so I can get to some of this wiring this is the wiring for uh, the gate for the oil pressure gauge that was there this wiring should be fine this is gonna stay up here how am I gonna do this all right so I'm taking this whole dash out with the metal frame behind it. So I'm not just gonna take the plastic off, I'm taking everything out as one shot. It's, I don't wanna say fairly simple, but it's not as many bolts as you would think to rip this whole RSX dash up out. Out. To start, we're gonna start on the driver's side. You have three bolts right here. They have little black caps on them. You pop the black caps off, you take those three out. Then you have two bolts behind here when you would take your center console out. So once you get your center console out, you'll see you have this one bolt here, which is part of this whole frame assembly. You take this one out. Oh, you take that one out right there. Then you go on the opposite side. You can see the back of the bolts right here. Yeah, so you would take that other one out. So you have two bolts, one here, one here. Then we're gonna go to that side of the dash. So now once you come to the passenger side dashboard, you're gonna pop this little plastic panel off right here. It's just uh, this little cover. You pop this guy off. You have two bolts here. So you have one at the top. They're very hard to see on camera. But I'll try to get you guys right there. So you have that one right up there. And then there's one below it that's even harder to see. And then you have that one right there. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but right there that's another bolt. So you have two of these. Pop those bolts out. And then essentially the whole dash board and frame is loose. So you'll start to be able to wiggle that out. There's one other thing. You can actually remove the dash with the steering wheel assembly still attached. I have the quick detach, so I'm going to remove the steering wheel. But the column I'm leaving in there. I'm underneath where the column is. And you can see I put two, uh, a yellow line from the splines of the steering shaft to the uh, the universal joint, to the, to the rack. And I took that little bolt out. So there's that hole right here. I took that out. Then when you pull your dash out, the uh, steering shaft is gonna pop right out of the universal joint and this stays here. The whole column is gonna come with your dashboard essentially as one whole unit. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Once you get out a certain point, there's going to be a lot of connections behind the dashboard. You're going to have to start unplugging. We'll get to those as we start pulling the dash out, which ones we have to unplug and which we can leave connected. Because since you're taking everything out as one unit, like the radio and all that, you don't really have to unplug that. You can unplug the main connector that's behind the dash instead of unplugging everything at one shot. It's up to you guys. Some people have taken it out every panel and then take the whole thing out. I'm just going to do it this way. So I'm just going to set you guys up on a tripod. I'm going to start tackling all these bolts and you guys will pretty much see how I hit everything and pretty much once I get to the last one, you'll see that that whole dash is kind of like probably sag and then I'm going to start wiggling it off 
and getting in the back. The camera, I'll, it'll be hard to get you guys in the back of the dash to show you which plugs I'm unplugging, but you'll see. It's just, we're gonna take it out like that. Carter just came through as you guys saw he helped me rip the whole dash out that was, that fought us a lot more than I thought it was going to it's definitely a lot heavier doing it this way I'm just gonna tell you it it's heavy and there's a lot of plugs you have to unplug a lot more than I thought mostly on the driver's side here you're gonna unplug all of these they're on the side of the dash here there's an antenna plug right here your clutch switch your um actually wait one is the clutch one's the cruise control your brake switch all of these connectors on the under dash fuse box they're getting unplugged a lot of this wiring is my extra wiring for my gauges uh then you have these plugs that are under here you're gonna unplug those the abs or not not the abs the srs module plugs they get unplugged um what else we unplugged some here and then these went up into the dashboard then it was those brown plugs i showed you those got unplugged and all of that is my fuse box wiring so you're not going to have all of that because the fuse box is tucked then you get to this it's it's it really is a lot and then there's one ground right here that it's seized or i don't know i don't have the right torques for that anyway i couldn't get it off I just cut it. Uh, I'm just gonna have to splice these back when we reinstall the dash at a later time. The dash is not going back in, in this video, obviously, because I have a lot of wire management to do here. I'm doing all this off camera. But next we're going for this heater box. So from what I can see, there's a bolt there, a bolt there, uh, another one here, another one on that side right there. You don't have to worry about unplugging anything on the heater box because well the heater box was these two blue uh, uh not blue brown connectors so they're just going to stay with this carter did unplug my ecu so we could just lift the ecu connectors as you can see they're gonna they run from back there through the firewall so we're just gonna lift those up pull the heater box out once we get the heater box out let's see what else we got because that looks pretty heavy so I, i'm gonna say i'm gonna get a scale i'm gonna say about 20 pounds if that is going way too far with this all right so we took the two top bolts off carter took those two off you said you found another one on that side yep um behind the ecu bracket okay oh yeah the ecu bracket was dropped then you found another one under this corner right here and uh i did go hold on let me go in the engine bay i took three nuts off in the engine bay i'm not sure if they're connected to this but uh so there is these two top tens, one there, one there, and then one 12 millimeter nut that was right there at the bottom. So Carter, wiggle it. I want to see if those were connected to it. Oh, 
All right, yeah, so the two top are not. That bottom 12 is, and then obviously, if you still have your hoses hooked up, you would unhook them, but mine aren't. So we're good. Is it coming out? Oh. No, I just, I mean, I just want to see if it's coming out. It moved a lot. Yeah, I saw. So, all right, let me put the camera down. We'll get this out. Imagine trying to do this while all of this was still in there. Ah, oh, shit. All right, uh, can you swing around it? Because I don't want to unhook it. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Okay. So happy I'm gonna put this back together. <laughs> so happy I'm going to work for the next two weeks. <laughs> All right, we got that out as you guys saw. I got that whole heater box over there. That was that was pretty fun to get out. What? So <laughs> what I'm whoa, focus here. Come on. All right, what I'm thinking of doing, uh, because I'm going to put the disclaimer, this is my car, so I'm doing whatever I want to my car, I'm going to get rid of that uh, SRS module. I don't, I don't. What is all that? What's that big round wire right there? Which one? The one that zip tied in 10,000 coils. This big black, what's that? Up, up there? Right down to, by your, by your all of this, there. that's all the wiring for the gauges. <laughs> What? Yeah. Just round, round well, you're wrong. I'm like not going to cut them off. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm getting rid of that SRS module. I don't I don't need that anymore. I have no airbag here. Uh, what I'm going to do is put my EPS module in its place. So I'll have it tucked away nice. My fuse box wiring, I'm going to do something nice to run it over that way in the back of the dash. So that way it's not just all curled up the way it was. Um... And I think I'm going to really start to do some better wire management here. Like, I use the same grommet or the same spot behind the, the throttle pedal to bring all of my wiring. And so my gauge wiring, my wideband wiring, the fuse box, the EPS, all of that came through there. So I'm going to do a lot of that a little better. Um, and besides that, I think Carter was saying I'm going to do some... Carter, show me. You said this can still mount, the ECU? Yeah, but just go see this too. These two bolts and just floats. Oh, oh, okay. So then I don't need to get a. I don't need to get. I was gonna get like a little footrest. Actually, I could probably take that bracket off and get it powder coated black. Isn't it that. under the dash? Yeah, but I'm still. You know, it's, it's be throwing money away. Sounds like a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that done. Um, I'm gonna get a scale out. I really want to weigh that. I want to see how much that weighs, and uh, I'm actually gonna cut. A few things off the dashboard. Like, look, let's see. Like, I want to get rid of this whole setup too. The airbag system down here. I want to take that out. I'm not. I have no module, so that's gonna be kind of useless. I want to take that out. All right, let me see if I can get a couple things together, and we'll weigh it. What, what's your prediction? Um, sixteen pounds. Hmm. 27, I say. Oh, you're talking with the box? With the box, yeah. Uh, 22. 22 pounds, and I'm saying 27. Let's see. Wait, well, okay. So that way you don't think I'm, I'm tricking you. That's with, we're going to go through everything and see if we find anything else to pull out. Okay. So you're still going to stick with whatever else we find. I, I don't know what else we're going to take out. We're going to go on the back of the dash. 
and see what else I could take off of this. Like all, all this yellow wire, like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna cut wiring out too. I'm gonna go 30 even. We're weighing this, why are we weighing this? Isn't this going back in? No, I'm not weighing that whole oh, thing. I'm saying mean? if we take stuff out of it. Uh, oh, po Plus oh. the heater box. 14 pounds. 14 pounds. Okay, 30 pounds and 14 pounds. Let's see. All right, so I guess basically what I'm trying to show them is there's a couple of yo, watch you back it up. <laughs> you got not in focus no more. <laughs> there's a couple of brackets here, one here, and then one bracket on the back, three nuts that hold it onto the metal frame. And then you could just pull these clips, bend them, and this will pop out. That's how you can get this out and unhook one of the connectors. I'm trying to get this out. The way I'm trying to do it is just, oh, I can't write it out like that. Yo, this is supposed to be ripped like that? If you got a salvage car, just say that, bro. I feel like that's not supposed to be ripped. <laughs> I've never seen an airbag that was tore a little bit. Well, don't point it towards me. <laughs> All right, let me put this down. <laughs> Let me put this down. Uh, so I'm just gonna reuse the panel. Literally pop this back in, and unless they made like a carbon, I know they make the carbon fiber trays for the Civics. But you know, I should set this off though. Set off where? I don't know. I have to take it to work. But I think for safety reasons, when you take an airbag out like this, you should set it off. Yeah, don't set it off here because next thing you know, ATF comes, SWAT <laughs> team comes. <laughs> Let me put this over here. Um, all right, and then the other thing that we were talking about, Carter already got started on this, was this whole uh, vent setup. Got no heat, got no AC, don't need these vents, so I'm going to take this out as well, the dash. I'm still trying to figure out how it comes out, but uh, we're going to take this out, and I think that's it for the weight we're taking out of the dash. Everything else, I'm going to go through all this wiring and see. What um, what I'm gonna cut out? Like I think all of these yellow ones I'm cutting out. I I'm just gonna cut the harness. Um, and this I don't remember what this went to honestly. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So we'll cut back when we get all this stuff out. Oh, there's another screw there. We we're able to take all that venting out of the dash. Um, when you flip the dash over and get some of the weight off of the top of it, well, you'll see the way I have the dash. It's kind of like upside down sitting on itself. You can get to the screws a lot easier. Um, I'm not reusing really any of this venting. So I, some of them I just kind of just ripped it all out. And uh, the dash is a lot emptier now. So we don't have that airbag anymore. I'm going to put the cover there. Uh, like you see, all the venting is out. So now there's... It's just wide open space all down there. The vents, they're all here. I'm not gonna use it. I, this doesn't weigh anything, but it just kind of cleaned all that up. And you can't change your answer. Uh, I said what, 14 the first time? You said 14 and you can't uh, change your answer. I can change my answer before we go on the scale. Why? Because like, I'm looking at everything different now. Like I held everything besides that death bone. <laughs> Look, so we got everything lined up. We have the heater box, the vents, the little SRS module, the death bomb. Uh, 21 pounds. 21. I'm still going to say 30. Bro, this is 20 pounds itself. 21 pounds. All right. Uh, we put the box on here. We're just going to put things in the box. The box is, well, we had it on. The box is not picking up any weight on this. Yeah. That's reading zero. So that's the box is probably some sort of uh, ounces. You want to hold the camera? I'll put everything in the box, or you want to put the things in the box? Oh, I work uh, the physical physical work. Just make everybody yawn. You two make him do all the work. Okay, well, I don't want to do it. There we go. What? I almost, yo, I almost threw the airbag in there. I thought it was the SRS module. Twenty-one. 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 I said thirty. The 
box really weighs. Bro, 32 pounds. 32.4. It doesn't show up on camera, so they don't believe me. <laughs> no, give me that. I'm going to show them. Give me that. 30. Oh, no. It just went off. Hold that again. Give me that. Same thing. It even went right back to the... Oh, it really doesn't. No, you can kind of see it. 32.4. I don't know why it's barely showing it. I told you, bro. 30 pounds. That box is 20 pounds just by itself. Sure. I mean, it's not 100 pounds, so we're still not taking the 10th off. Who told you that equation? Everybody knows that equation. Yeah, nobody knew that equation. Everybody knows. All right, guys. So this is pretty much the end of this video, I think. I'm leaving it at this. This is all the weight we're shaving off of it for now. Uh, my plan, I have a lot of plans for weight savings. This year, bro, what's that for? I'm just saying, like, do you have plans or like, you still want to look pretty? I mean, you know some of the plans. Well, so the other plans, right? That's no, no good? One other plan. Is no decent. good? One plan is decent. Decent? It's decent. <laughs> All right. So this is the start of it. Uh, I do have, that is my parts pile for the RSX, not for the Civic. That's for the RSX. You guys will see that. In an upcoming video, and I think that's that's about a wrap with this Carter. Peace, YouTube. Yeah, peace. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go through the rest of the dash now. Like I said, tidy up a lot of the wiring that I have here, and then I'm gonna go inside the car because I'm looking at the inside of the car right now, and that's gonna be. This will probably take me a few days to really get all this going right and uh, situated the way I want. So that I think that's that's an off-camera thing. I'll keep you guys, if you want to see updates, it'll be on my Instagram. And, oh, I do want to ask if anybody knows um, the grommet where the coolant uh, pipes came out from the firewall or the heater core, I'm going to say. Does anybody know an OEM part number for that? I'll find it in two seconds. You'll find it in two seconds? Because I haven't looked yet. I have the, uh, um, it's not the, no, it is the evaporator. I have the evaporator block off the OEM one, but I don't have one now for the, um, the heater core. So if you guys know that, drop it in the comments below. Otherwise, Carter's going to find it in two seconds for what he said. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, before I even do that, if you like what you saw, give me a like. It's 2023. Now it's 2023. Uh, I probably uploaded some videos before this in 23, but this is the first video of 23. So if you're new, welcome, subscribe. And if you like what you saw, all, of, all the likes, that'll really help. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay motivated and keep making those streets louder.